Hey, yo, what's going on, you guys? Tucker here with a brand new video for you guys today. Today, we're going to be showing off my US Agent deck that we've been using. We've mended it into a Patriot list. Patriot list definitely carries not necessarily this card, but it is such a good list right now at the moment, too. And we've tacked in US Agent to be like one of our tech cards, opposed to like a Shang-Chi or something, to decrease the cost of a lot of these um, higher cost cards that are going to be in your opponent's decks over here. Um, the cool thing about US Agent, he's a 2 3, so something you can kind of play on curve or play a little bit late game. Um, his ability is an ongoing, each 4, 5, and six cost card that is in his lane gets a negative three power kind of like man thing but at the same time a little bit better than man, man thing in a sense because it's a little bit more playable uh fours are kind of clunky right now without zabu unless you're playing a list that like specifically needs fours, like maybe a miss marvel on curve like a control list um but us aging being two costs enables him to be able to do a little bit more i'm still not entirely sold on the card and i'm not a huge fan of him being a series five card but um, you're just going to see in this video that we actually do get to have a little bit of fun with him. Um, but, of course, Patriot does carry this list. And I've been having a lot of fun with this Patriot list. Um, as is, Patriot's in a good spot with the Broodling interaction. Bruiser's incredible with the Absorbed Man. We got Iron Lad in this list. Um, as well as Surfer. Um, but, yeah. Of course, as always, we're going to break down um, each card individually. But right now, I'm going to show you guys a brief overview of the deck. Um, and then we are going to have the deck code down in the description below. Here is the deck list that we are going to be running over here on the left side of the screen, maybe your right side of the screen. Um, but it's been a lot of fun, and as always, like I said earlier, we are going to have the deck code down in the description below. Right, we're going to be breaking down each card individually. Um, of course, you guys have probably seen a lot of Patriot lists, um, but we just have teched in US Agent um, in here. So like we started off with Wasp. It is a card with no ability, but zero cost, so you can play her pretty much whenever, and gets a plus two from Patriot. Um, another card your opponent always kind of has to be wary about if you have Patriot or if you don't have Patriot on the board. Is it going to get the plus two or is it just going to be plus one power? Another just solid card to have in the mix. Um, and honestly, if your Iron Lad also hits Wasp, he does get the plus two as well because Wasp has no ability and he copies the entire text of the card. Next, we have Squirrel Girl. The cool thing about Squirrel Girl on this list, she throws down two tokens. These tokens help you to discount your Mockingbird, um, as well as these two tokens are cards with no abilities, so it get, they get the plus two uh, Patriot buff. Um, if you hit Iron Land, it does still just send regular Squirrels out. They're going to be one-powered Squirrels, but those Squirrels, as you see, of course, still get the tokens, um, so they are Mockingbirds, still value, and they still get the Patriot buff as well. Forge. So we have Forge in this list to buff our Broodlings buff, buff? Wow. Buff our Mr. Sinister, potentially even buff a Patriot or Mockingbird, depending on when you play this card. Um, it's another good hit for Iron Lad to, to be able to do later. To be able to forge another card, and then you potentially forge another card after that, because you, you have Forge, you know, um, coming up because Iron Lad um, just hit Forge. Um, it's another good card to buff your Broodlings, buff your Mr. Sinister, like I was saying, too. If you want to hit it on Patriot, it's not a bad idea. Uh, but kind of like a typical card you might be seeing in a Patriot list if you're not just playing all non-ability cards. Mr. Sinister. The cool thing about Mr. Sinister is whatever power Mr. Sinister is, let's say Mr. Sinister gets buffed by a Forge, he's a 2-4. His clone will always be a 2-4 as well. The clone also gets the Patriot buff, so it can get the plus 2 power. Um, it's another good hit for Iron Lad because it goes from a 2-2. Of course, then it's a 4-6, but then your clone also has 6 power as well. So with Patriot, that is a 2-8 kind of card, uh, which is really, really cool um, as well. U.S. Agent is the brand new Series 5 card that just came out today. Um, it's an ongoing uh, fours, five, and six cost cards get negative three power. Currently just in his lane, kind of like the, the man thing thing, but it's, of course, like I was saying, it's better on curve. Um, it allows us in this deck, we're not running, honestly, a lot of four, five, and, you know, six cost, no six cost cards on this list. Our only fours are going to be the Absorb Man, um, Iron Lad, and our Mockingbird. Um, so it's another good card just to, to have to be able to help us go over in some other lanes where we may just not have enough power. And people, I mean, probably aren't expecting this in a Patriot list. You're probably going to see it more in like a Toxic kind of or a Control list maybe. Uh, but I'm liking it more in Patriot too um, because, I mean, I like I like how it's Patriot and you got some USA stuff going on. Um, but yeah, this card is going to not necessarily be like the token card or like the best card in this list. But it's another card that helps you just kind of go over the top um, a little bit. Or it's just a, a later card for you to play that your opponents just maybe aren't going to be expecting. Maybe this week because he just came out, but probably aren't going to be really be expecting. Patriot! Patriot's a three-cost card. So we have Surfer in this list to buff Patriot. So Patriot can get that plus two power. Um, and if you don't have Surfer in your list, you have an ongoing plus two power. So your opponent has to Enchantress your Patriot, has to Rogue your Patriot. It cannot be Shadow Kinged. So your Broods are going to always have that plus two. Your um, Mr. Sinister's going to have his plus two. Your Squirrel's going to have their plus twos. Um, so that's what's really cool about this is like if Surfer does fail and like let's say they do Shadow King your cards, 
they can't Shadow King an ongoing ability. So that's that's the cool thing, and we're not really seeing a lot of enchanters right now. Patriot is a, has just good value. Pretty much every single card in this list can uh, get hit by Patriot in some way, shape, or form. Maybe just some other things to like tweak it, but like. Patriot goes off here, and I've always been a fan of Patriot. It's actually one of the first cards I used to like hit infinite and stuff, so I always will have a special place um, in my heart as well. Brood, you've probably seen Brood in all sorts of lists. Of course, Surfer lists. We got Surfer in here. It makes sense. Um, your Broodlings um, are going to be 3-2. They copy the power of the Brood, so if they do get hit by an Absorbing Man, um, Absorbing Man, they're going to be 4-power Broodlings. Iron Ladder, they're going to be 6-power Broodlings. You're going to be forging this Broodling probably anyways to get them to 4-power um, as well. They also, the Broodlings have no ability, so they get the plus 2 as well from Patriot, and then they can get the other plus 2 um, from Surfer, so your Broodling can go from a 3-2 to a 3-6, which is freaking awesome. Of course, the original Broodling is an honor reveal card, so it has an ability, so it does not get the Patriot buff, but it is also a 3-cost card, so it does get the buff from Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer is a 3-2 card, OG Season Pass card. It used to be absolutely busted, giving plus 3 power to your cards on honor reveal that are 3-cost. Now it still gets plus 2, so it's in a really good spot right now because not a lot of Shadow King going around, but I bet there's probably going to be a lot of Shadow King this week. I just got a, got a hunch that we're going to be seeing a little bit more Shadow King um, and of course, it buffs your broodlings, it buffs your patriot. Your absorbing man is probably going to be absorbing your broodlings, so it's going to give your absorbing man some extra power. Maybe not your absorbing man, but the broodlings that come from the absorbing man get extra power. Absorbing man doesn't get it because he's a four cost. It also hits debris. Uh, debris is a three cost card, so you get that plus two on those debris as well. Uh, not the rocks, but debris itself. Uh, another just great card to have in this list, another alternate line or an additional line to help your cards just kind of scale over some of these other things. Debris here is a 3-3, gets buffed by the Surfer, and her rocks do get buffed by Patriot. The other cool thing, too, is when Debris sends out their rocks, Clog's in a good place right now, trying to limit what your opponent can play. These rocks also do allow you to get Mockingbird out earlier because they are token cards that did not start in your deck. So both these rocks count as two cards on the field that decrease your Mockingbird by two. So your Mockingbird goes from a 5-9 to a 3-9. Of course, Absorber Man, you're playing a lot of honor reveal cards in this list. You're playing a Surfer if you want to play a Surfer out early. You're playing a Mr. Sinister. You can play that to get an additional clone out, which will be a four-power clone instead of two-power clone because it bases off the power of the Absorber Man. Same thing goes for Brood. Brood, you copy, of course, the the uh, power of the card of the Broodling. So if you Brood just the last turn, this is going to be four-power Broodlings. Of course, Absorber Man will not be getting the buff from Silver Surfer or from Patriot because he is an honor reveal card, and then he is a four-cost instead of a three-cost card. Uh, but another great card for, for you to have here, and then if you have played an honor reveal card, and let's say you don't have Absorbing Man in your hand. It's another decent hit for Iron Land to hit um, to mimic your Broodlings to go from a 3-2 to 3-6 cost cards, or 3-6 power cards, uh, which is going to be really awesome, um, which of course brings up Iron Lad here. Iron Lad copies the entire text of the next card you played. So that's why if it hits a Wasp, it has no ability and it gets the buff from Patriot. Whereas if it hits an Absorbing Man, if you did not play an Honor Reveal card in the last turn, nothing happens. Iron Land does not get the buff from Patriot because it copied the entire text of Absorbing Man. And Absorbing Man, when he misses, does not make him a non, um, non-powered non card or just a, a basic card kind of thing uh, with no ability. So Iron Land does not get that for him. Uh, the only way you'd get Iron Lad to get a buff from Patriot in that sense would be if you had zeroed Iron Lad um, or if Iron Lad just hits Wasp. But Iron Lad hitting most of these cards is absolutely fantastic. Maybe hitting an early Surfer isn't the best. Um, US Agent, it would not affect him, but it would affect the other cards in his lane. A Mockingbird maybe is not what you want to hit, but other than that, the rest of the cards in this list are really good hits for, for Iron Lad because you know if 8 out of the 11 cards remaining are really good, that's pretty freaking solid. But yeah, I love Iron Land, huge Iron Land stand, so it's another reason why we have Iron Land in this list. Mockingbird is the next card as well. We're playing a lot of cards that send out tokens, decreasing the cost of Mockingbird. So more often than not, if you've only played Broodlings and you've played um, your Absorbed Man as well, your Mockingbird's going to cost one. Uh, so it's something you can send down on turn four, maybe, maybe not turn four, turn five, turn six kind of thing, especially if your Mockingbird costs zero. That's another fantastic card your opponent has to keep into account. Where is Mockingbird going? And more often than not, we're seeing it a lot in Patriot Packages. But you always forget about it. I know I forget about it sometimes. But another great card to just finish off the list here. It goes and synergizes really well with the Patriot because a lot of these on reveal things are adding tokens uh, to the board. Um, but yeah, this is the highest cost card we have in this. And this list goes bonkers. Anywho, let's go ahead and let's get right into some gameplay. All right, we are heading into game number one over here. I'm telling you guys, I've been having so much fun with this list. I know it just came out recently. Um, but of course, I know Patriot's in a good spot. It is having this extra level of kind of like sneaky tech. Um, does just really, really good. Um, this is going to be interesting on May's location for us. I think we could, we could totally make this work. We're going to go a little crazy. I'm here for this. We're rocking the new Jeff avatar as well. A great, great Jeff avatar. It's not my favorite Jeff variant. 
um, overall, but I do I do like uh, the Avatar quite a bit. Quite a bit. All right, what are we playing? Are we playing some Kitty Pride. Okay, I'm gonna, this could be a little interesting. See if we can scale large enough for 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 the Kitty Pride interaction. Do a Mockingbird. I think we don't. I mean, we could play this out, but I don't necessarily want to have U.S. Agent on the board just yet. So we're gonna float again. Angela with a Rainbow Kirby. Yo, that's beautiful. Prakoa. Okay. So if we get this, which is awesome, love that for us. We get the broodlings down. Absorbing man could be great with Iron Lad. If we don't hit that, this also could be really solid for us. We could get Mockingbird out early. Elsa. I'm thinking we're brooding here. Another great for Mockingbird. And then I do get debris. I think I'm actually going to debris here on the left. Uh, debris is going to move into one of these other locations, filling this out, maybe. Mm, or let's actually Iron Lad here. I don't necessarily want to fill this out for them to get the Elsa buff early. So I think Iron Lad might just be better. Let's see what we hit. What we hit? Oh, and we hit a Sinister. Oh, that's huge. And if Iron Lad goes far right, that's another card they have to worry about there. Plus three. Oh, middle? I'm here for it. That's fine. That's fine. Silk? I can play. I could play Mockingbird and uh, I could play Mockingbird right, and then play Patriot, and then we're we're kind of chilling in all seriousness. We we Mockingbird here, and then I do have Patriot to kind of get all of this situated, and then we can mess around. Any of these cards can hit with nine additional power is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Okay. So I like this. I do really like this. What we're what we're working with here. If that could go middle, maybe. That's a lot of power floating around. Professor X. Oh. All systems go. Wow. So we beat the Jeff on the right, which is awesome. And then I can do this. And... I think I do that and that. I mean, US Agent would be pretty good against the, the Red Hulk. Um, we don't get that additional buff middle. If they move the Jeff over, they can still play a big card and Silk moves. This is going to be pretty interesting. They got to play something with, yeah, we, we just got it. The Mockingbird Victory. on the right is so good against the Professor X. I love it. All right, we're heading into game number two over here. Um, I'm still having a lot of fun on this list. I'm telling you, like, Patriot is one of my, uh, one of those, like, kind of, like, nostalgia kind of cards. Um, I know I haven't played them a lot in a hot minute, um, but I do have a lot of fun um, with this card, honestly. Um, let me see. We get Wasp. Red Hulk. Okay, that's going to be a, a, little, a little tricky. A little tricky over here. Dream Dimension 2. Good gravy. Um, we're going to go ahead and forge. This is... It's kind of kind of bad. These locations are wonky. Cravens are playing in Silky Smooth. Looking like a Silky Smooth. Oh my word! Oh, this is just horrible, huh? Some really bad locations. Great for the Red Hulk, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and brood. Then probably Absorbing Man. Elsa and Kitty. Okay. It's a big Red Hulk. It's a big Red Hulk I gotta worry about here. But the curve is pretty bad for them too. Pretty bad for them as well. So we'll make this work. We'll make it work. Angela and Kitty. They don't have anything to move. That's the cool thing. Um, it's either Patriot or Squirrel Girl or um, Mockingbird. So I'm thinking we just do this, do that, and then we Silver Surfer. And we should beat Red Hulk and everything, too. So this is good. This should be really good for us. Yeah. 
it's just these locations were so bad for both of us. We actually had curves, so we, we were able to, to perform there. So we're heading into our next game over here, my friends. Um, this deck, of course, like, it can scale in power. And, like, I'm really loving Patriot because, you know, we use Patriot a lot. I haven't used him a lot recently, um, which I probably should. I mean, this list overall, even if you tech out US Agent, like, it pops off. It does. It does pop off. We got a we got a, a Jeff versus Jeff matchup here. This is going to be a forge, I guess. Forge into hopefully brood. Brood would be uh, the best. Oh my gosh! What the heck is this? Okay. Well, we can absorb him in here. So that's awesome. These locations are pretty whack for us. Summers, Red Hulk, cool. I'm gonna absorb him in. And then honestly, if I don't hit any of these like crazier stuff here, I might play an Iron Lad left. Just as a, a cheeky little um, opposite thing here, but. Baron gets my US agent. Assemble. Okay, so they play Red Hulk down immediately. Understood. I'm going to Iron Lad Wasp and um, I'll do Wasp here. We get Surfer or Debris. That does hit Brood. I think I just do that, that, and then let's get that over there. They get Debris and Surfer. I get a Mockingbird and a Doom. We get two Mockingbirds. Woo! We do flip first. And then we either get Brood or we get Patriot. Opponent snapped. We get Brood or Patriot. That's probably the Red Hulk with Debris and Surfer, honestly. We should be in a good spot. A really, really good spot. They snapped us too? Do we snap for... Hmm. What do I top deck here? Like a Lyoth? That would be great for that. We would win there. We get this here. I'm going to snap oh, back. Snap. And we should just win this game. We should just win this game. We beat what's his face there? Debris. Iron Lake gives me Patriot. Brood. Squirrel Girl and Mockingbird. Cool. Red Hulk. Surfer to win middle. But we went tiebreak. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you guys did stick around to the end, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and week, and I will see you guys in the next one. Tucker out.